Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And if you are watching this video, then that means that you selected the mushroom fairy jar for your trash, for your trash panda treasure box. We are gonna start out with your Fimo clay. And you've got the three different colors, but like the instructions say, don't touch that red one until you're ready to use it. So if we start with the lightest one, the white, and this is gonna be the dots on your mushroom, and the underside of your mushroom cap. I think I just want two dots on my mushroom, so I'm gonna roll little circles and then squish them flat. And then the underside of the mushroom is basically just a bigger dot that you've squished flat and kind of worked out into sort of a pancake shape. But you can have as many dots as you want. The tan is what we're gonna use for the stalk of the mushroom, the stem. And so if you roll it against the tabletop, you'll get kind of an elongated cylinder. I want each end to be flat and you can tap it against the table or use your fingers to, to make that shape. If it starts to get wiggly, just roll it again. Just make sure it can kind of stand on its own so I have it a little thicker at that bottom end. Now the red, and this will get on your fingers. That's okay. Um, if you roll it into a ball to start with, and then I'm just gonna squish it down a little bit, tap it on the table, make it so it's like a half circle, and then make it a little misshapen because mushrooms aren't perfect. I can take that white flat pancake and put it against the flattened side of that circle. And I don't want it to go all the way to the edge because the mushroom cap often overhangs a little bit. Um, you could get really artistic and put little lines in it with a fork or a knife. I think I'm okay with mine staying kind of round. I'm going to try to ease the edges over a little bit and then I just have to push on those dots. So there's one and then I'm going to push on the second one. And then I'm going to add on that stock. And this is Fimo clay, it's a polymer clay, which means you can bake it in the oven if you would like it to get hard like a charm or like clay. Um, your instructions should have the correct cooking temperature on there. And you just bake it in your oven, your regular oven that you make food with. Um, keep a window open, sometimes there's a little bit of a smell, but uh, you don't have to do that, but you can. Then we're gonna take our hexagon jar and just kind of make sure that there's no big clumps in the moss that you've been given. And once it's kind of loose, we can put it in the bottom of the jar. Um, fill it as full or as not full as you would like it to be. And then you can add your mushroom, whether it's still soft or whether you baked it in the oven. Um, it should be sturdy enough that you can get it to stand up against that moss. If you need to, you can smooth out a little hole in the moss and then stand it up in there. Now there's a piece of tape against the lid of your jar and that is gonna hold up the string for your fairy. So this might be a little trial and error to figure out um, how far you want it to hang down into your jar if you want her feet to be touching the grass um, or not. So I'm gonna is kind of a <laughs> tricky thing to show you guys because my camera's at the wrong angle. Um, but once you have it taped in, you'll put the lid on, screw it on, not super tight, just enough so that you can kind of see what it looks like and take a look and see if that fairy is dangling where you want her to be. If not, just take your lid off, peel the tape back, and either shorten or lengthen your string as much as you think you need to. I wouldn't cut it off until you're 100% sure that you've got it right where you want it. And there is the finished product, Mushroom Fairy Jars. Thank you guys for following along. I hope this was enjoyable for you. As you may have noticed when you went looking through your boxes, I don't have an order form for August. A couple of reasons for that. We're taking a little bit of a break um, and that is because in September we really hope we're going to be going back to in-person programs which means our anime club is going to be coming back fandom Fridays 
We're going to be having a teen STEAM afternoon once a month. We're also going to be having a crafternoon once a month. The good news is we're still going to keep having subscription boxes. But I need some input from you guys on what type of things you would want to see in there. So please fill out that little questionnaire that gives you some ideas of things that you could tell me that you hope you see more of in upcoming boxes. Or you can use the blank space at the bottom to tell me if you had a perfect subscription box, what would be in it. That can be anything from the big craft, the little craft, or even the snacks. So let me know about those. You can drop them off at the library. You can text me a picture of it. And I will email out forms when they are ready for the September boxes. So have a good month of August, and I hope to see you all in September.